Hey, how you doing, guys? Welcome back to another episode with me. Nah, me is as two us two is back, back. Hey, I hope you're doing okay. Covid is still out here, but you know what I'm saying, um, keep your eye open. All right. On the other hand, I have this 2015 Nissan. As you can see, Nissan Sentra is the yummy. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to do the replace the front brakes, pads, and rotors. Front brake pads and rotors. Now I'm saying I'm gonna show you how to do it on two different ways. Sometimes it's not. Now I'm saying you, you find a problem on this side, different from this side. Now I'm saying so. I'm gonna show you how to face this type of uh, problems and overcome it. Yeah, me. Other than that, uh, I hope you like the video, hope you enjoy. Before I get into the action, I just want to say thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the help. Thank you for everything. Thank you uh, Thank you to uh, my new subscribers, all subscribers, newcoming subscribers. I appreciate it. Where would I be without you all? I can't stress it enough, and I'm saying I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm gonna say the key. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, when I launch this video as a premiere, please, you know what? You can chat with me live. Yeah, you know I mean, by using super chats and super stickers. Try that out. You're gonna like it. You're gonna love it, and I will too. Uh, with no further ado, uh, come with me. I show you how to replace this from brake pads and rotors. Yeah, me. Let's get it. Okay, we're gonna remove the wheel cover. Then we're gonna hit those uh, lock nuts with a 21 millimeter socket. So the reason why I'm gonna replace these rotors is because every time I step on the brake, the brake pedal shades and the wheel, the steering wheel shades also. So that means the rotor is warped. So that's why I'm gonna replace it. As you can see, there's two bolts that hold the caliper bracket and two bolts that hold the caliper in position. We're gonna hit the Two bolts that hold the caliper with a 14 millimeter socket and the bolts that hold the, the two bolts that hold the the caliper bracket with a 19 millimeter socket while I'm doing all this I just want to encourage the females and girls to become a mechanic a lot of people don't want to become a mechanic because they are afraid they are afraid of dealing with problems i'm saying vehicle problems i'm saying but that's light so i'm saying the more you practice the better you you are so there you go girls try to become a mechanic again You will see that it's not that hard. Alright, back to the brakes. Let's get it. Now that I will remove the bolts that hold the caliper, we check the piston. And in this case, this piston is a little bit rusty. So, what I'm gonna do, and you'll see that I'm gonna spray some W40 on the rusty parts. Just to make it last longer, you know what I'm saying? Now there's the two bolts that hold the caliper bracket in position. We're gonna hit it with a 19 millimeter socket. We're gonna use the short socket.
in this case as you can see the bracket is stuck so we're going to pry it with a pry bar to remove the bracket Now I'm going to check the sliders, make sure the sliders are free to move, they go in and out without problem. If they don't move, you have to remove them and regrease them. Now we remove the rotor, we're going to hit them with a hammer. As you can see the rotor is all damaged, time to go. Now. I'm going to brush off the rust on the wheel bearing assembly, light so, so the rotor sit, sit good. And th this right here, this right here, th this is butter, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, th th this is a T1000, yeah you know I mean? We're gonna spray the, this whole thing with a brake cleaner. I'm also gonna spray brake cleaner on the on both sides of the new rotor. Now I mean, cause you don't want grease in, in your brand new brake pads. If you get grease in your brand new brake pads, you damage them, and you have to replace them. You don't want to do that. So spray the rotor with some brake cleaner and wipe. It. This right here is bracket, so I'm gonna remove the brake pads. I'm hitting it with a with a hammer because sometimes it's difficult to remove the brake pads because it's stuck in there. This is the old brake pad, and I'm gonna reuse the bracket hardware because it's not that bad. Yeah, you know I mean. So since I'm gonna reuse the bracket hardware, I'm gonna brush it. You know, remove the rust and all that, and then grease it. So the brake pads slide side to side freely. Once I do that, I'm gonna check the sliders, like I said before, make sure they go in and out. If they good, you know, you don't need to grease them, but since I'm changing the braids and all that, I'm going to grease them. So right now I'm installing the, the bracket back, putting the two bolts that hold the bracket in position. Don't forget to tie those bolts with a 19 millimeter socket, the short socket. Make sure the bolts are snug and tight.
dog is tame. This one's been a little bit too. Broken though. That's good though. I mean, you can use this one or you can use that one. Okay. So right now I'm gonna step on the brake pedal until it gets hard, you know what I'm saying? Pulse. After that I'm gonna go to the front, open the hood, and check the brake fluid reservoir and see if I need more brake fluid. If I do, then I just tap it off and call it for the day. But before that, Make sure you road test it and check for weird noises. And I'm saying, if you don't hear anything like that, then you'll sit. And that was it. Hey, I'm back.
How you doing guys? I hope you like the video. I hope you enjoy. Uh, this was uh, how to replace the front brake pads of rotors in a 2015 Nissan Sentra SD. Yeah, me. Um, I hope you like it. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment box for me. Any doubts, any suggestions, just put it in the comment box. Uh, I just want to say thank you to all my uh, followers, my new subscribers, all subscribers, new coming subscribers. I appreciate the help, I appreciate the love, I appreciate the support. Yeah, I mean, I can't stress it enough. I'm gonna keep saying it, I'm gonna say it again. Thank you. Where would I be without you? Yeah, I mean, other than that, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit destroy, bang the subscribe button. Do that for me. Do the same with the like button, the share button. Maybe you know someone, your friend has a 2015, 2015 Nissan Sentra. Well, at the end, it doesn't matter the year because Nissan keep it 100 with you. you know what I'm saying the basics is still the same. So there you go. You can use this as a sample so you can guide yourself. When you do the job, yeah, me. Other than that, yeah. Hit, destroy, bang the subscribe button. Do the same with the like button, share button, and the feedback put in the comment box for me. Before I go, I want to give shout outs to uh, people that uh, left comments. Now I'm saying. Oh. Before I get into that though, I'm sorry guys. But uh yeah, let me let me give you a rundown of what I did, okay? So you know you remove the tires, uh remove remove the uh the two bolts that I hold the uh the caliper on the bracket, then you remove the bracket, remove the old brake pads, brush the the dust out of the uh, the hardware, the bracket how hardware. I'm saying, push the piston back, the caliper piston, push it back with the tool. Uh, a few people asking me, well, yo, what, what's the name of that tool? It's just brake tool. I'm saying, you, you can get it as a brake tool. Yeah, you know I mean, what else? Uh, before you install the rotor. Make sure you clean it because it comes with grease, all right, from factory. So you gotta clean that with a brake cleaner, both sides. And I'm saying, then install it, put the bracket, the bracket on the hardware, put some grease. You saw, you saw what I did, yeah, you know I mean, put some grease on the hardware and the sliders. Don't forget the sliders. Grease them too, pull them out. Sometimes they don't go in and out, so make sure they are like lube know what I'm saying put some grease in the sliders put the bracket on back make sure you snug the, the two bolts that hold the bracket in position put the brake pads in bracket and the caliper back and that's pretty much it oh and get to the car push the the brake pad, just to make sure, you know what I'm saying, it gets tight. And after that, go to the front, open the hood, make sure you have a uh, brake fluid in the reservoir. You know what I'm saying, if you don't, top it off. Okay. Road test it like I'm doing right now. And that's it. That's that's pretty much it. All right, so uh, get back to... Uh, Going back to the shout outs. Okay, shout, uh, I want to give shout outs to uh, new subscribers, all subscribers that left comments. You know, uh, shout outs to uh, Tom Dolgin. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce it right, but at least I'm trying. I'm saying, just put in the comment box if I, if I said it wrong. Tom Dolgin, Guadalupe Perez, David A. Flores, David A. Flores. 
Andrew Felson, Virginia, John, Chris, I got a few more, Alex P Pendian, Jack, Tammy, Isaacson, Jira, Miva, NYC, Nicker, Buckers, Nana Ampen, Luis Fernando, Russell, Wakefield, Tia Team, Backends, George Gonzalez, San Diego Mover, Really Out of Repair, I Am Always Right, Kevin Steele, Priscilla Olivas, Tyrese Mills, Cheryl Lewis, Nathaniel Ramos, Carlos R, George C, Celadon Productions, and I have a, I, I, I have a subscriber, a friend that uh, left a comment in, in Russian, but I tried to translate it uh, with Google. And I'm saying, and I'm saying, I, I got in touch with him. I'm saying, and, and I got it right. That's how I do. And I'm saying, shout outs to all of them. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the help. Thank you for the love. And I'm saying, keep doing what you're doing. And uh, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And I'm saying just for you. Cause, because you deserve it. You, you deserve to know what what to do with your, with your car. And I'm saying. So uh, I'm going to leave it right here. I hope you like it. I hope you love it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Destroy. Bang. The subscribe button. And I'm saying. Do that for me. Like this video. And I'll uh, see you in the next one. I hope you like it. Holla at your boy. Astu. Buru. Yami. Meow. Me. Hi, man.